Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Can I make this bigger? Okay, anyway. Today I want us to study from the book of um, Romans chapter 10. I'll read then what I will explain. But we'll be starting from verse, verse 5. From the King James. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. So the righteousness that's, that comes from faith in God's word. This is what it says. Say not in thy, thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. So he's asking, in essence, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to take a long journey above or take a long journey down into the depths. You don't have to do anything. He says, oh, but what said it? The word is nigh thee. That is, it's near thee. The word is near you. Even in your mouth. So all you have, it, it's, it is voice activated. And in thine heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thine mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart. So it, two things. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. That is the bedrock of Christianity. Say with your mouth. In essence, that word confess is homologia. Saying the same thing that Jesus said with your mouth and believe in your heart that thing which you said believe in the heart that God had raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture said whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed two things saying the same thing that he has said with your mouth and believing what he has said with your heart. That is what Christianity is all about. Then you have given him authority to step in and act in the earth. So his power is now activated in the earth. You've released him to do that which he said. Until that time, He's constrained. You want something to happen? Is it in line with what he has said? Then say it. And then, believe in your heart that that which he has said, which you are now saying, he brings it to pass. And it's as good as done. The word is nigh thee. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to raise whatever or dig whatever. You don't. It's not far fetched. It's in your mouth. It's near you in your mouth and in your heart. It's telling you that these are the two key things to get things done here on earth with His Word. I say again, you want God to do something for you. Mix the Word with faith. Mix the word with believing. How? You say the same thing he has said. You repeat that word. And you believe in your heart. And it will be done. 